check you have your artwork and if you forgot to write your name on the back, please do so now. Thinking about colour today, as my background is very bright orangey pink, if I wanted to do contrasting colours, opposite colours, I'd be looking at blue, yellow colours. Using a sponge that is not bone dry and can be moved, but not water sodden, so it's not dripping or has any moisture in it, we're going to apply paint to that sponge and then dab the sponge on top of a stencil to create the texture coming through underneath. When we're doing this, we need to hold the stencil steady and we don't want too much paint on the sponge. If it is too painty, then the paint will just go underneath the stencil as well and just kind of create a blob rather than seeing the pattern design that the stencil is. If you want to check out how it's going underneath, you have to be very careful to keep the stencil steady with one hand and peel it up on one side to see. I decided to make some of um, the stencil colours a bit warmer, so going into more analogous colours, colours that are close together on the colour wheel, as I kind of wanted my patterns to blend in a little bit more rather than stand out. If you want them to stand out, you should be using contrasting colours opposite on the colour wheel. You're most likely going to reuse the same stamp again, and when you go and do that, you have to make sure that the painty side, the messy side, is upwards, not going down onto your art. Otherwise, you'll be transferring that paint onto your artwork. On our finished artwork, where we're going to see the background colour and the texture is going to be wherever your body is, wherever your portrait is. So we need to make sure that when we're applying this texture today, we're not just applying it all around the edges, we are applying some in the middle because your face might take up a good chunk of the middle part of this artwork and that is the area we will want some texture and layers.